Wu Tang's for the kids. Man, I used to play the trap spot, propped on the block like I was part of the backdrop. Now it's scale, props, effects, and backdrops. The right lighting, you never catch me biting. Say you make it look so real, when well, you fold the biggest fighting. I caught lightning, stuck it in the detour. Replicate epic scenes from the Creed War. Compose pieces with artists that span the globe. Fierce some foes, fighting in the picture, perfect pose. Insert the comic book, cut out, the shoot a show. Oh, you ain't know? Yo, everybody know me. I made nerds. Cool, cooler, like my man Zoe. Took the everyday display, gave it a spark. Welcome to articulated comic book art. That's crispy. Tell you a quick story about this poster. I got this poster. Damn. I think it was my man Dogs, and not my man's dog, but my man, his name is Dogs. We call him Dogs because he's just insane. But, uh,. I think it was his 15th birthday, and we was in Staten Island. So that was over 15, 17 years ago, basically. And we was in Staten Island. He has birthday party in Staten Island. And this is when the Woo Wear store was actually still open, or had just opened, or whatever. I don't know. But we was there. We had went over there. He was having his party there at, at, a, at a family member's house. And we had went over to the Woo Wear store, and Inspector Deck and, um, and King Just just happened to be sitting outside in front of the store listening to some beats. And they signed my yeah, you could barely see the signature. But that one say peace. Uh King Just. And this one say inspect the deck. Peace. Could see it a little bit. But yeah, man. Wu Tang. Yes, sir. So it's my birthday. Thirty-two years old today. The universe has blessed me to make it to thirty-two years on this earth, man. I'm grateful for that, man. Grateful for all of y'all subscribers and fans and all that good stuff man just want to do this real quick some lint in my drink for the record i have not cut a cutout in months every single cutout you see here and in the past like episode or so my girl cut every single one of them believe it or not and they all crispy too. It's crazy. She's a pro at this. Cutting out bigger joints. Think uh, some other stuff. All that stuff. Cut every last one of them. Even some of them where the exclamation point. She like cut the exclamation point off and reconstructed it back. Let me see if I can. Like for instance, this. She cut the exclamation point out so the, the, there wouldn't be any excess in between the P <clears throat> and exclamation point. And then just glued it back together on the other side. Did that with a couple of joints. Did that with this long blue scratch. Cut out two and just repaired it. But all of these is clean. So anybody could do it, man. Just take your time. Get some small scissors and some patience. Cut this one too. I just added it to the gambit. Uh, Marvel Select Gambit staff added the flag on there. So the Marvel Select Venom came out real nice, uh, but this Venom is still probably the best six inch scale venom we got this came in the uh, sinister six box set uh definitely the best uh this was that same mold that they had used for saber tooth in the legends line just the best carnage we got too this is the only carnage in, in six inch uh, it's been released a couple of different times with different paint schemes like in the spider-man classics line and in the spider-man i believe it's pre-marvel legends uh spider-man classics if i'm not mistaken So ACBA World Tournament news. We had a little hold up. Unfortunately, things are, weren't going aren't going as quickly as I would like them. Uh, uh, God damn it! So I passed up on the Gears of War Four. I've been hearing some mixed reviews about it. Some people said it was just trash, and then somebody said it was it was pretty good. Um, I believe that it's supposed to be a prequel, so it's supposed to be before Gears of One, Two, before Gears of War One, Two, or Three. I believe I didn't even actually read up on it like that, honestly. 
I should. But uh, let me know if anybody else out there got the game. How, how do you like it or not like it? Got that new figure smell. Finally opened up my uh, Player One Blanca here. I sold off the other one, actually. I've been selling off some of my uh, Soda Street Fighters that are not Player One colors. I pretty much just gave up on trying to get... Uh, I was never really trying to get all the other colors. I was really just trying to get a complete set of Player One, and that's what I'm going to do. So I've been selling off anything that I don't have uh, or anything that I have that's not Player One and trying to, trying to pick up all the... Uh, the round one colors are playing one colors so got this guy open had to run some hot water on that right hand and on the ab crunch and stuff just to make sure the joints don't snap but soda is still one of the best six inch lines ever produced man i gotta thank my man anthony's customs for really really pushing me to get into these man i had sat there and watched all of his reviews when he did those reviews and then that's when i had started picking them up uh sometime early last year so so I need to make my way down to uh, Image Anime this weekend and finally go ahead and pre-order, uh, uh, what's this guy's name, Freezer. Uh, I haven't done that yet. I think Freezer is slated for uh, next month, for May, if I'm not mistaken. So definitely trying to continue uh, on with this line. I hope they do some of the bigger villains or more villains. I'm still waiting for the regular uh, Goku and other Vegeta that they're supposed to be have coming out. I think they're doing another variation or re-release of uh, Piccolo uh, at SDCC. Uh, so that'd be cool for a lot of people that still didn't get Piccolo. I think Piccolo is still my favorite uh, character out of this line. One, probably one of my favorite figures in my collection, period. Uh, so if you if you get a chance to get Piccolo on a re-release, I would definitely say uh, go ahead and grab that guy. I keep forgetting to mention that I'm uh, I'm on Instagram. I guess a lot of people already know that, uh, but I'm on Instagram under book underscore ACBA. So if you want to follow me on Instagram, you could do that. I mean, it's mostly ACBA related stuff, but you know, I put up some other little different pictures of me drinking lots of beer and uh, stuff like that. So if you want to see that, then check me out on Instagram. Shout out to uh, to Randy and to Darius who've been on Instagram for the longest. And those guys is like celebrities on Instagram, and they got thousands and thousands of followers. And they've been on Instagram way before I have. Uh, hashtag and ACBA. And uh, so you know ACBA is actually pretty popping over on Instagram. So if you want to create an Instagram and and do the ACBA thing over there, then there's plenty of uh, ACBA heads uh, on there. Uh, doing a thanks again to my man Darius for hooking me up with the uh, with the cliff jump. I appreciate you, brother. I totally forgot that today was the day that the water was going to be off. Got up early and worked out, so you know I'm humming right now, but it's all right because I got this. Yo, remember when we went to Dick's, y'all? Everybody that was at San Diego Comic Con having a beer. Okay, with no further ado, we're going to get into the names and the scores of those who will be advancing to the second round of the ACBA World Championship Tournament for 2012-2013. If your name does not appear, that means you were eliminated from the competition. So the names and scores of those who are advancing will appear in this next segment. If your name appears, congratulations to you, but get your head back in the game. I know we had some... Uh, a uh, couple of little hang-ups here uh, that slowed things up, but we should be moving right along, getting things on track. Um, I did a lot of stuff behind the scenes to make sure that the uh, the next couple of rounds move a little more smoothly, uh, especially with the scoring. We got things situated with the scoring. I put together a nice little spreadsheet and what have you. I'm uh, really excited about the outcome of this. I'm excited about the trophies. I finalized that this week. I had to actually do a totally original design for trophies. And uh, I think they're going to look really, really nice. So I'm excited about that. Excited about the prizes, the cash, all of that stuff. So once again, congratulations to anybody who's moving on. And if you were eliminated in this first round, no big deal. It's a learning experience. Hopefully you'll still come out next year and compete. All right, y'all. 
Uh, real quick before I get out of here, just to let you guys know, we advanced 40 people to the next round, to the second round. If you scored or if you averaged less than 30 points, you were automatically eliminated. And like I said, we advanced 40 people. So that way, uh, moving on to the third round, we'll advance 20 people. And moving on to the fourth and final round, we will advance 10 people with five emerging as the top five. And those people will be taking home cash and prizes. So that's how it works. And that's how it'll be moving along in the next couple of rounds. So again, congratulations to those moving on. All right, y'all. Peace. This is not my man's dog I'm referring to. I'm telling you this telling you and this. hopes are deterring you. Deterring this you. is not bullshit that I'm handing you. We call my man Dolce. He's a goddamn, goddamn animal damn with animal. two sneakers. Animal. And I am the zookeeper.